Hey, this is Jay Bat. Today I'm doing a review for Detective Comics issue 500. The title for this storyline was To Kill a Legend and it was released in 1981. Now this story opens with another retelling of Bruce Wayne's parents being murdered. Now this time there's like differences. When Joe Chill shoots, shoots uh, Thomas Wayne, he also shoots Martha Wayne. You know, originally it was just Thomas Wayne who was shot and Martha Wayne died from a heart attack. So right there you could tell that they were starting to do it kind of different. They had both of Bruce's parents being shot, you know. But this time it turns out that Bruce is just dreaming about his parents being murdered again. So when he wakes up, he decides to go out in Gotham City and Robin joins him, you know, the Dick Grayson Robin. So while they're out in Gotham City, this guy shows up known as the Phantom Stranger. And he tells Batman that on another Earth 40 years ago, another Bruce saw his parents being murdered. And then 20 years later, modern day Bruce, you know, the Bruce Wayne that we all really know, he saw his parents being murdered. And now on another Earth, another Bruce Wayne is about to witness his parents being murdered. So like the cycle will repeat. So uh, he convinces Bruce Wayne to travel with him to another planet to stop it. And Dick also travels with uh, well, Robin. He also travels with Batman. And then in the other Earth, Gordon is a lieutenant, uh, a lieutenant and not Commissioner Gordon. And plus they don't even know Batman and Robin even exist. So the Commissioner Gordon on the other Earth, he's not a commissioner. He's a lieutenant. So he doesn't even know that Batman and Robin exist. I thought this was an odd story. I thought the Phantom Stranger looked kind of cool, you know. It was okay. It was kind of far-fetched, you know, and out there. But it was alright.